What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. We got a Me Too alert going out right now, man. And this is going out for, what's my man's name? Wesley Snipes, according to Jennifer Lopez. I don't know, man. Y'all be the judge of this y'all selves, man. She had a recent interview. She said the leading man pressured her into an inappropriate love scene. So he was a big star at the time with a lot of clout. And I was just starting out, she said. So it was my big break. And he really pressured me. He told me that if the scene was not hot enough, my part would end up on the cutting room floor. And that would be bad for her career at that point. Mm, mm, mm. She also said um, she felt uncomfortable. She said, so we did it and it was horrible. She said, we both were completely naked and nothing between us but a sock on his bone. So I was so naive then. Now I would have pillows and covers or whatever to um, prevent contact. She said, but I didn't know any better. She um at it. That's what she said, you know. So here's the um so here's this famous act of basically humping my leg and pawning it away at my breast and kissing him. It was awful. I felt very violated. I swear I never worked with him again. He's done um too well. He's he's not done well lately. Um maybe it's karma. I don't know, man. Um Jennifer, she didn't specifically mention his name, but that's the only love scene she had in her career. She did it with him with um with this movie right here called Money Train. And there was some um, spicy scenes in that movie, man. Like, you ever seen that movie? Mm. You know, they it was some love scenes they had, man. And this movie called Money Train she did back in the days with um, Woody Harrelson and Wesley Snipes. I think they did another movie together. That's why I don't know if she's talking about him because they did do another movie together. And I think they did date. I mean, she did date a lot of people, man, because she liked the ultimate opportunist, man. Like, think about it. Think about her career, J-Lo. When she was doing hip hop music, she was with Diddy. When she started doing acting, she was with Ben Affleck. Um, when she did Latino music, what was she at? Mark Anthony. When she started doing her entrepreneurship, yeah, she was with A Rod, man. I'm just saying, I ain't trying to um shame her or nothing, but if she was a gang member, you know, she had some bodies, man. She have a lot of teardrops on her. If she was um, <laughs> nah, that's crazy, man. Um. Real talk though, man. But this kind of this kind of weird too, though. I seen this old tweet from Wesley Snipes. He said, "Money Train turns twenty, a classic. Never forget that love scene with J Lo. Who wants to see us do a remake?" And this was twenty fifteen, so I don't know, man. It's his word versus her word. I don't know if he got a word. She ain't say it was him, but I don't know, man. Stuff adding up. Just back on me. Anyway. We definitely going to be talking about this Friday right here on the channel, man. Because I go live talking about stuff just like this every Friday, man, um, at 9 p.m. Hit me up, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday talking about stuff just like this. Come through and holler at your boy. Join the conversation. And holler at your boy. Heist man the folk. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Peace.